Hello, everyone, Randy here, and what do we have here? Well, we either got uh, $200 worth of uh, scrap junk, or we have an April Air E100 whole house dehumidifier. So hopefully we're going to find out which one we have here uh, this episode. I'm, I'm hoping for the uh, whole house dehumidifier one. Um, Pick this up here on Facebook Marketplace. This is a, like a customer pallet return someone was selling. I uh, got... Like, if it works, I mean, I got a really good deal on it. Otherwise, like I said, it's, uh, well, it's not going to obviously be a really good deal if it doesn't work. Uh, so the compressor on this unit runs. The blower looks like it does not run. So I'm hoping everyone is just something with the blower on here. Uh, so we're going to take this apart here. It, it looks like the unit, everyone, is brand new. Like, there's not anything on this thing. There's nothing, everyone. Um, got the accessories here. Look like they're still in the box yet. I mean, obviously, someone, I'm thinking someone maybe put them back in there. I don't know. But uh, again, the unit powers up, everyone. The compressor runs. The compressor gets cold. So, but there's no air movement. And right under in here somewhere, everyone, there is a blower. So we're going to start by taking this apart here today and see let's see if we can uh, find something with a blower. Um, I did stick a screwdriver down in the blower, and it doesn't really turn, everyone. So I'm, I'm hoping maybe just like the blower's locked up. We're, we're going to find out. So looking at this here, a couple screws around the side. I have no idea. I have no idea how you take this apart, everyone, but we're going to find out. Okay, cross your fingers, Joe, and I think this might be the problem. Um, if you look at the space up top here, you can see that big gap. And then if you look underneath, everyone, yeah, no gap. This thing is like rubbing hard. Uh, like I said, I stuck a screwdriver down in through the uh, top here, everyone. I was not, well, yeah, I wasn't able to turn it with a screwdriver. But obviously, once I'm in here like this, I mean, I can turn it. Oh, that's a, that's a nasty little dent. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Ah, that's minor details. We can uh, straighten that off if we have to. Plus, if it works, everyone, it's not really super going to matter. But... As long as we didn't like damage this some of one, ooh, let's cross our fingers. This might just work here yet. Now I just gotta figure out why that's bent, everyone. Why is that bent? Because this looks that looks kind of straight. Oh wait, here we go. That is not straight there. Let me do a little more investigating, Evan. I'll get back with you on this one. I'm thinking, ooh, hey, that's interesting. Maybe it doesn't show up on camera, but I can see that's bent. Anything else looking wrong here? Oh, there's the filter. Interesting. You're supposed to replace that, I think, once a year or something like that. I don't know a whole lot about this unit, everyone. Just picked it up here the other day. Uh, just kind of started looking into it and uh, happened to see this one was available on Facebook. Uh, like I said, made a really low ball offer on it and uh, they accepted it. So, okay, I took the other uh, side panel off here and it wasn't super obvious to me on that side what was wrong, but then I took this side off. And yeah, it's quite clear what's happened here now, everyone. Uh, I'm guessing here at some point, maybe some shipping damage or who knows what. Something is pushed up on this bottom plate here. And it is humped up quite badly by, especially right there by that compressor bolt. Uh, something is pushed up in there. That uh, caster is bent over. So something, I, I don't know what, but something is definitely pushed up in there and bent this bottom plate here. And that's obviously probably what's pushing up. It, it doesn't look obvious to me on this bracket up and this bracket looks fairly straight but it apparently it is probably pushed up more than i realize especially when you look up at that one there so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna straighten this here now one um i don't think i want to like tip this whole unit over on its side typically a lot of times in these compressors like this if you tip them over on your side i mean you're gonna have to like let it sit for a while there was an oil or something i'm not a compressor ac expert here at all of it just a little bit i know and I think there's what oil or something in there, everyone. So if you tip it over on its side, the oil gets where it's not supposed to, and then you let it set for a little bit. And hopefully that oil will drain back where it's supposed to. Blah blah blah, whatever. Uh, so try not to tip it over, and I'm gonna see once if I can straighten that bottom plate somehow. Also, I didn't see it at first, but if you look down in here, uh, maybe I won't be able to get that on cam. Actually, you know what? if I look through it here, ah yes, there you can see it right, right there, everyone. Like I said, that bottom bracket is pushed up quite bad. I wonder if I take this back panel off. Oh no, wait, this takes. Ah, that might be the ticket. I wonder if I take this entire, entire top off. I might try to do that. Well, I'm going to want to call it uh, pretty, but it seems to be a lot better than it was. Um, oh, you know what? I guess I didn't show it before I took the top off. But yeah, it was very much bowed up right there. I think we got it pretty good here now. Uh, combination with a flat bar, adjustable wrench here, and some pliers. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. And now when you can see, we actually got a bit of a gap underneath here. 
So now I just need to take this bracket here. I don't know if I could take it off or if I can do it. Well, it's on. We'll see what's here. And I just need to bend that whole fan bracket or blower. I guess technically it's a blower, right? Bend that whole blower bracket down and uh, cross our fingers out and we should be good. Okay, when I just tried to uh, bend that, that uh, yeah, that doesn't really want to go anywhere. So I think I'm going to have to probably uh, be best here just to take that off and bend it like not in here because I don't want to wreck anything any more than what it's already wrecked anyway. So we're going to try to get that off there. The, the one that's back down in there, but that looks like a bit of fun to get to. So hopefully with the extension here, I can uh, reach in there and get this off and uh, we'll try to bend this here a minute. Well, I mean, that's looking a whole lot better. Look at that. That nice uh, turns nice and uh, freely here now. Actually, very freely, right? Uh, I'm hoping, Evan, that was our only problem. I guess we won't know until we uh, fire the unit back up. So I think I'm going to put it back together here. Um, I can't quite fire it up like it is now because uh, I've got the wire to that panel disconnected. It doesn't quite uh, reach there. So we got to flip that back over the top here. Uh, I guess we don't necessarily have to put the ends. I'll probably put it back on anyway. And then we should be ready to uh, try firing this up here. Oh, and I might fix that too. I just realized that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can straighten that out here in a minute too. For those of you who never straightened sheet metal before, yeah, I tried saying that a couple times fast. Uh, using an adjustable wrench like this, that one usually works uh, quite nicely. You can cl clamp the jaws on it, just give it a little tweak in here. You can usually get it really close. Like, I mean, I guess you can see it a little bit there, but you barely can even tell it's bent, right? I probably could get that even better if I wanted to. Get a little bit more here. Yeah, it's still a little bent there. Right by the fin. Oh, that might have been a little too much. A little bit out. Yeah, there we go, Evan. A little bit uh, whoop de doo there, but that's not too bad. That looks uh, pretty good. Looks like it's spinning nice and true here, too.
okay, one unit is all fully reassembled here. Uh, no screws left over. Well, except for that piece here. That goes back on top or the back side uh, when you go to install it. But other than that, no screws, no parts left over here. Uh, by the way, speaking of parts, I do have a whole box, or actually two boxes of, uh, I think those are the adapters, and I'm not sure what else is all in there. Uh, but in case you can't tell, but I've got high expectations here. I actually put a pan underneath the uh, drain port there. We're going to go ahead and fire this unit up here, so there's a power button on the back. And then, I don't know if i got to change anything here or not. Oh, no, there we go. It is going. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that one. That blower is running. That never ran before, so. Wow, oh, that, uh, that blows some air, too. My goodness. And it actually runs, too. I, I just, I, yeah. I was hoping, I was wondering if the uh, motor on that would be burned out or something, you know, from being stuck like that. But it doesn't look like it. Looks like we're good. Uh, looks like we're sitting at about 48% humidity. Um, I don't know. I got to read up on how you adjust this. I'm not entirely sure. I know there's connections under here. I know that much if I can get this off. Um, I don't know what that all goes to, but remote, sensor, dampers. Yeah, cool. No idea. I'll have to read up on that. Uh, there is an owner's manual, but it explains nothing about that. So there must be another like installation manual or something. I'll have to see if I can look that up. Still sampling yet. Oh, I don't know if you folks can hear the uh, change in the tone there, but the compressor just uh, kicked on. And the, the blower is definitely much louder than the uh, compressor. So, cross our fingers, everyone. Right? We should be seeing. I don't know how long this takes here, by the way. Uh, we are now on dehumidifying, by the way. So, it runs like, I don't know what, 30 seconds to a minute here. Probably a minute at least. Um, I paused the video there while it was doing its air sampling. And then once it figures out what ends up, and it's like, oh yeah, we need to uh, dehumidify. It'll start uh, dehumidifying. It is set on 40%. I did check that. Um, obviously, we probably won't actually want it to go that low, but I've got it set that low. Uh, per this, it's like 48% humidity in the house here at the moment. Uh, I don't know if that's, that's probably fairly close to being right. Uh, for those of you who've seen my previous videos, that one, I do have a humidifier in the house. So we are adding humidity to the house, and that's probably about what it's set to, 48, if I had to guess. Oh, yeah, one. Well, check that out. There's water. Oh, down in the deep, dark basement here. I'm going, yeah, with this monstrosity. This is our uh, furnace here uh, currently that we've uh, modernized here slightly, I guess you could uh, say, with some uh, newer controls and a humidifier. That's an April Air humidifier, by the way. Uh, so, obviously, well, now that we have a working dehumidifier, I'd like to uh, hopefully install this on the furnace here somehow. So, if any of my viewers have any uh, good ideas on how to do that, I would be very much appreciated in uh, just, yeah, leave a comment or something. I want to let me know. Uh, to my understanding, the best installation is to install it on the return vent. However, everyone, I think you're supposed to have so much space on your return vent. And, return vent. And I don't know if you can tell, everyone, <laughs> I got what? Maybe that's 18 inches, something like that. I think it's supposed to be like six foot or something like that, if I remember correctly, everyone. So um, unless I was to like plumb it into something up there or over here somehow, obviously I don't have... 18 or uh, six foot there when I've got maybe 18 inches at most uh, the other installation option is to go from your return to your supply the supplies in the back there I could do that though looking at that I'm not sure I'm not sure how I'd actually get into that because there's a vent there I guess maybe if I move that vent somehow I, I don't know when that's a that's a good one there um, yeah that's actually a good one so going behind maybe uh i don't know anyway yeah like i said if you folks have any good ideas let me know throw them down in the comments they'll be very much appreciated and how i can actually like get this plumbed into this okay well, well it looks like uh, we were able to successfully uh, repair this uh, unit here it was just uh, damaged on the bottom there presumably probably some shipping damage or something like that just push that uh, fan bracket up push the fan into that cone thing and just cannot turn the fan uh, we got water coming out. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm sure it's probably not doing a whole lot of dehumidifying ever because it's not really that humid in here. In fact, we're trying to add water to the air in this uh, this house here. So <laughs> the fact that this is running is probably not a good thing. So I'm going to shut that off. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any uh, comments or questions about this, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Also, uh, in that last clip there, if you have any uh, suggestions on how to install this on our current furnace, uh, let me know. I happen to thank everyone. Um, while the ducting is maybe only 18 inches long, everyone, uh, the inside of the furnace goes all the way down to the bottom there. I might be able to actually tie this in straight to the furnace. I don't know. We'll see once. I might have to look into that. But anyway, again, if you have any uh, suggestions on how to install this, let me know. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching and until next time.